Trying to decide between iMovie and Final Cut Pro, both are amazing video editing softwares for Apple users, and I've actually used both. I started with iMovie for a really long time, and now I've recently switched over to Final Cut Pro. So let me give you the lowdown of iMovie versus Final Cut Pro so you can decide which one's the right one for you. We'll take a look inside both iMovie and Final Cut Pro, and then I'll explain why I've switched over to Final Cut Pro and give you some beginner Final Cut Pro tips because there is a bit of a learning curve. Does that sound good to you? Let's get started. What's up? I'm so glad you're here today. I'm Danny, and I'm an online teacher, entrepreneur, and business coach. I help people build lives of freedom through online teaching and building scalable brands on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe and level up your online business and brand with my weekly videos. Also, if you haven't yet, be sure to get my ultimate starting on YouTube cheat sheet and start scaling your brand on the second largest search engine in the world. Let's dive into iMovie versus Final Cut Pro, and I want to start by doing an overview of iMovie. I love iMovie. I've honestly been using it since high school it's an amazing video editing software and it's super super user friendly all of my older YouTube videos have been made in iMovie I've only recently switched to Final Cut Pro I did a poll on my Instagram if you don't follow me head over there for more YouTube tips but it seemed like most everyone was using iMovie so it's a popular choice because it's also free so it's free it's user friendly it's a great place to start if you've never edited videos before and you're just wanting to kind of jump in iMovie is probably your way to go let's take a look on the inside. All right, so now we're in iMovie. You can see these are some of my past videos in my projects. So what you can do is if you want to start a new movie, you can create new. Let's look at one of my old videos, though, to take a look at what this looks like. So you can see here we have on this upper left hand side where you can add your media in. Uh, so you could drag in video files from here. You could also just drag in files directly. This is what I love about iMovie is like I could just take, let's say I've got a screen recording. I could literally just drag that in and drop it into my video. This is where down here is where you edit all of your video. Okay. So you can see you have audio where you can add iMovie has sound effects you can use. I also recommend only using, if you're going to use background music, using YouTube Studio Library music because it's copyright free. This is where it titles, you'll add text, backgrounds. I never do this. I never add backgrounds, but transitions for sure. You can pick a transition and just drag it right in. It's super easy. You can double click it and change the time. And then you see over here, when you click on, you have to make sure you're clicked onto where it's highlighted, the file you want to change. And I could come up here and I could change the coloring, make it brighter, darker. I could crop it. A lot of times people have issues where it'll get too close. That's because it's on Ken Burns. If, if your image is ever moved, it's because it's on Ken Burns, change it to fit. Okay, just a quick note. And then um, you've got, you can stabilize your video, change the audio. You can speed up your video, but I can make it fast or slow. So there's a lot of different things you can do in iMovie. It will honestly take you maybe 20 minutes worth of tutorials to get it down. The one qualm I have about iMovie is that you're only allowed one layer. So you can see I have added here, if you look, I it says my eight different income streams as a teacher entrepreneur. If you want to be able to add images like this, then check out my video that I have with Canva and iMovie that breaks down exactly how I do this. Final Cut Pro is a little bit different. You're allowed more layers. So that's the only thing that I don't like about iMovie, but I'll get into that when we get into Final Cut Pro. I'll show you what I mean. So this is what iMovie looks like. It is pretty user friendly, as you can see. Now that you have an understanding of iMovie, let's dive into a little bit about Final Cut Pro. So I actually made the switch to Final Cut Pro because I got a new computer. My other computer had ran out of space. Every time I was making a new movie on iMovie, I was having to delete files. It was the worst. So when I got this new computer, I got one terabyte and I thought I just want loads of space. And I actually think with this loads of space, I would like to level up in my video editing. And so I weighed between Filmora, Adobe Premiere, Final Cut Pro, and I really settled on Final Cut Pro because it's again, that Apple product. So it's similar to iMovie. So unlike iMovie, Final Cut Pro is not free. It is a one-time fee of $299. For me, that was worth it because I didn't have to pay monthly, like some of the Adobe products now. That's not what I wanted. I want to pay a one-time fee and say, oof, I can write that off as a business expense. Okay. A great thing about Final Cut Pro though, is you don't have to just dish out that $299 right away. You can do a free 90 day trial. So I highly recommend if you're interested in trying it out, do that free trial and see if you like it or not. 
Now let's take a look inside Final Cut Pro and I'll give you some beginner Final Cut Pro tips that have been really helpful for me. Welcome inside of Final Cut Pro. As you can see, it looks a little more intense and different than iMovie because it is a bit more advanced. So let's start on this left-hand side. These are my libraries. I've got my library for Lainey when I did a project for her for a team membership and then I have my YouTube library. Here is where I then can, you can create, you can start a new library. And then under that would be an event. And under that is projects. So under my YouTube library, I have started the event of, I have the date of when that video is going to air. So let's say this one was when I talked about building up your own brand. And so within this event, I have different projects. So here you can see I'm right now in this project, Online Teacher Brand. This is the actual movie. And then I can have other projects within this event. Like I have then the Instagram promo. I can also click into right below it. So this is what I love about Final Cut Pro is that it's really easy to bounce between all your different projects and take something from here and add it in here. And that's not something that you can do with iMovie. So I love that. If you are a content creator, you might want to be thinking about Final Cut Pro because it allows you to do these things. So you see, I've got this event and then I can have these projects within it that are all the different parts of it. So I even have like gifts usually, Instagram posts, the actual YouTube video, and it all stems from the YouTube video so I can just copy and paste. But now, so let's look at this video. So the way that you add in media in iMovie is the same in Final Cut Pro. So I can add in media by clicking up here and I can add text by clicking over here as well. It's still on that left-hand side. And what I love about this, as you can see, the bottom part is where you're editing, just like an iMovie, but you can see I can actually add layers. So see how I have my Instagram handle up here, and then I also have this other title that comes up. I love that I don't have to make in Canva my Instagram handle within this image here. They can be two separate things, but also still be in the frame. Ugh! Let me tell you, this is gonna save you so much time. So that's my, honestly, right now, my favorite part of Final Cut Pro is that you can add layers and iMovie doesn't let you do that. So that's a huge plus. Now, if you look in this corner, this is something I was confused about for a little bit. This is where you can crop your video. So if you ever wanted to have it where it comes in and out, that's where you would do it. You can click Ken Burns. And if you wanted to do that, I could hit enter and then you see it'll go in for that point and kind of accentuate it. This is also where you can speed up and make the video go fast or slow. This button right here is where you're able to use different tools. So right now I'm on the select tool. I honestly stay on this tool the whole time. I don't like to go to the trim tool or the blade tool, which you can. The blade tool is just gonna make it so you can cut your video in different parts. If I click on this, I click on this, it's gonna cut it there so I can delete clips if I want to. But I like to just keep it on this select tool. And if I want to crop my clip, I'll either use my touchpad or I will click Command B. And that's another fast way to make cuts within your editing. Now over here, you'll mainly need to look at the effects if you wanna add effects to your video and then the transition. So this last one on the right-hand side is transitions. So let's say I want the transition slide. I could drag that in in between my two clips and you're able to make it longer or shorter and you can even change what type it is or the direction you want it to go. So there you have your transitions and your effects over there. Now this one right here will make it so you can hear the volume of when you're talking, so that might be helpful for you as well. I usually leave that off. And then you see on this right-hand side, there are more options. So to give you an example of what this does over here, I have this image that I just dragged on top of here. And if I want to make it bigger, I can make sure it's highlighted and then I can scale it bigger or smaller. And then if I wanna change the position, I can just click on this and then I can use my mouse to go up and down my mouse pad and I can make it go to the right and to the left. And I can do that same with the Y position. I can make it go up and go down. I can also crop this specific image here. So there's a lot of different things that you can do. Also, you see there's other options. There's this button right here. This is where you can change the color of your video. So let's say you wanted to make it darker or lighter. A pro tip of what you can do in iMovie and in Final Cut Pro, if you want this setting to be on all your clips, if you want the saturation to be up on all of them, or you want the volume to change for all of your clips, then what you can do is you can make that change and then you can click Command C or Command Copy, right? Edit, Copy. 
And then you'll just go through and you'll click all of your clips that you want. So I could shift and click all the clips that I wanted to have that same saturation and I could click edit. And then what I do is I click paste attributes. And then here you can see it says color board. So that means it's changing the color for all the saturation to all those clips. So that's just a quick tip for you. And you can see you can do that with crop, positing, all of these things, which makes it just so much faster in editing. iMovie does that as well. One last thing I wanna show you, if you want to get closer into your clips, you can just go like this on your keypad where you have your fingers go out or you can pull them back in. That's how you can go in and out. And then something also really nice, if you wanna split your clips, what you can do is you can click Command B and then let's say you want the clip to go up until this point you can press on your keypad just this little thing here, boop, and it's going to make the video crop up until that point. What's really nice on Final Cut Pro is you have these other options on your little touch bar as well if you have a MacBook with the touch bar. Another great thing about Final Cut Pro is you're able to add plugins and effects. I have not gotten that advanced yet, but that's always an option. That's not an option with iMovie. And also sometimes because Final Cut Pro has a lot more to it, it is slower than iMovie. So sometimes you will get the rainbow circle of death, but it will always come back on. But just know that because there's more to it, some Sometimes it will take it a little bit longer to process. So now that we've taken a look at iMovie and Final Cut Pro, let's do a comparison of iMovie versus Final Cut Pro. So iMovie free, Final Cut Pro a one-time fee of $299. iMovie super user-friendly, Final Cut Pro a little bit of a learning curve and it's going to take you more time to understand how to work it. iMovie you'll get really basic editing and Final Cut Pro you can get way more intensive. You can add those plugins. You can do a lot more with it. iMovie is going to run a little bit faster whereas because there's so much more to Final Cut Pro sometimes it will lag just a little bit. So my overall consensus in iMovie versus Final Cut Pro is if you are just getting started and you just need to make basic videos then I would go honestly with iMovie movie. It's awesome. It's very user friendly and you're able to do a ton in it. Like I said, all my old YouTube videos were with iMovie. But if you've been working in iMovie for a little bit or you're just, you know that you love tech and videos and editing and you want to level up a little bit, then I definitely think that Final Cut Pro is worth the investment and it's worth that learning curve to be able to level up your videos. And in the long run, Final Cut Pro actually is gonna save you some time just because it has a lot more features and those plugins. So whereas before I was having to use Canva a lot to layer things in iMovie, I don't have to do that anymore in Final Cut Pro and that saves me loads and loads of time. So really new and just needing the basics, go with iMovie. More advanced and wanting to be able to level up your editing, go with Final Cut Pro. Be sure to subscribe to get notified for my next video where I'm gonna show you how I repurpose all of my YouTube videos onto my other social media platforms. I know you saw a little bit of that when we were in Final Cut Pro, so that will dive deeper into that. And while you wait for that, you can check out these other videos. You can grab my ultimate starting on YouTube cheat sheet, and I will see you next video.